What's going on everyone? It's Dungeon here and I'm coming back with another episode of the Choose Your Own Adventure walkthrough for Dark Souls 3. And in the last one, we pretty much finished up most of the traveling around in uh, the painted world. So we'll come back probably later to defeat a boss or something like that. Um, because there's two. There's two there. There's the uh, champion grave something. Grave lord champion or something like that. And then there's the, uh, the lady. Um, so... Anyhow, we are going to continue on. This is where we were at last time. We are going to continue on. Um, let's see. Could go to an Orlando. I don't think really any. Oh, you know what? Someone did say they wanted to. They wanted to go to the Dark Fire Link. So, um, in that case, I tell you what. I want to finish this up first um once i finish this up oh there's some crazy stuff here so let me finish this up maybe we'll do this and then the next one we'll go into the ethereal dungeons erythal dungeons but you tell me all right so we are at the uh smoldering lake and here we have a summon we're gonna grab this summon kingslayer Jamie Lannister. We're gonna get the Clink Kingslayer. All right. Um, I've been watching the Game of Thrones again, y'all. So <clears throat> this is my strategy. Very simple strategy. Grab him. Come over here. And then just basically kill him. Once you kill him, then the other things will go away, and uh, for good measure, so this is like a dex build that I've got, so for good measure, I ought to put on some Tears of Denial, and I can put on, I could do Bountiful Light, I could do Blessed Weapon, I, I just don't want this guy to go down there actually just yet. Be oh. Because he mess everything up, man. Alright, we don't want that to happen. Alright. Now. Let's see what we got left. There. Get rid of those fireballs, you know what I mean? And then just backstab them. These guys, they're really slow, so it makes it easy to mess with them, you know what I mean? Real easy. And that's how you do it, you know what I mean? Ooh. Sometimes they actually can drop uh, chaos gems, actually, which is super cool. Um, now here's what I've noticed about these dudes right here. Oh my goodness. He's probably gonna die or something. Um, here's what I've noticed. If you have a, um, magic weapon or a crystal, uh, or a dark weapon, it does more damage. So, it's totally worth <clears throat> just investing in a deep gem or if you've got maybe a dark gem, if you can do that. This guy is going to get messed up. See how much more I'm doing? He's got a massive sword. His sword does tons of damage. But because I've got... Um, because I've got... The dark damage, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a lot. It's weak to dark. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna be honest, man. I always come over here just cause 
yeah, you don't have to, man. You know, this is this is just whatever. But I like to. I like to. Oh, dropped a large uh, shard. For those of you who are coming here. Oh. Alright. Now what's cool is that I have the uh, the shield right here, which you get from the DLC. I got it in one of the other episodes. And um, this will help this will regen. This does hundred percent physical resistance and it regens. So very, very, very useful. Yeah, you want to eliminate this guy as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, he does a lot of damage, man. And Black Knight Sword. Dude, oh my goodness, you guys. You got to listen to this. <laughs> okay, so I was like, you know, I want to play some Dark Souls. I was playing Dark Souls. I was playing Dark Souls 2. Okay, so the first one. I was playing the first one, Remastered. Oh my goodness, man. I got, I, I swear to God, I got it on, on, I recorded it too, if some of you don't believe me. I got, with the first Black Knight that I killed, I got the Halberd, okay? And on subsequent, jeez, man. On subsequent Black Knight kills, I end up getting the Black Knight Greatsword and the Black Knight Sword. So I have three of these things, man. Some people go through, and I've gone through playthroughs, and uh, I think one of my first playthroughs I had the axe, actually. But uh, some people go through, and they don't even get one, man. I mean, they say it's a 20% drop rate, but I don't know. It seemed pretty good to me, I'm just saying. All right, now here's the deal, y'all. I Look, I'm going to tell you straight up, this is, this is, a, this is the deal. You're not going to see me go in here, okay? That's not happening, okay? Um, I I might come back and maybe show you guys that first thing because, all right, here's the deal. There is, uh, I think there's three items in here. One of them is like, I think, a soul item or, or nothing item. The one right here, the closest one, that's Toxic Mist, I believe. And the one all the way in the back is the White Hair Talisman. And basically, there's no reason to have the white hair talisman. I'm gonna be honest with you. There really is like there's no reason, man. Like it's pointless, okay? And and you know what I should have done? I should have not summoned this guy yet because he's probably gonna end up dying against these basilisks. And that happens a lot, you know? Because there's basilisks down here. And uh, so anyways, going back to this uh, uh, lava, if you really want to get that one all the way in the corner, you want to drop down here. It's faster. But if you do, you're going to take ton of lava damage, ton of fire damage. So you want to get your fire resistance up as super duper high, like super high, man. And um, basically ways you could do that is, dang, all right. Ways you could do that is uh, putting on the conjuring clothes. And, uh, dude. Uh, what else? Conjuring clothes. Um, we're only going to do this one. There's a second one, but if we do that, our NPC is going to die. For sure, alright? So we'll come back and get the other one. That's for the Isolith staff. Um, but anyhow, uh, Conjuring Clothes, uh, Fire Ring, Speckled Ring, um, uh, oh, Flash Sweat. You can even put on a, a shield that has really high resistance, and supposedly you can block that stuff if you're facing in a certain direction. I don't know, man. Just make sure that you kill all those monsters in there before you get started. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, all right, look, look, look. Let's see if I can save this guy.
Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Because if he takes too much curse damage, he will, like, straight up die. And, um, I don't have a heal spell for him. I got a heal spell for me, but not for him. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can just straight up kill this guy right here. That's that awesome aim. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Alright. Okay, so there's, I think, three or four more. But that's two, man. That's two. That's pretty good. If I can get one more. There. Alright. If I can kill this guy. Oh, he's going to attack him. Alright. Now, if we got to keep him away from that. Because he'll walk right into it, you know? And you won't know what his meter is being built up to, you know, on that stuff. So, I think there might be one around this way and two around this way. I could be mistaken, but I think so. Uh-oh. Uh, he gonna die, bro. That's it. He's a goner. I might die. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I figured he'd die. That usually happens. Which, if I was thinking correctly, I would have just killed all these. I mean, was it rats and a couple of those chaos, you know, slinging big dudes up top? And basilisks. I mean, I could take that on my own. So, because the problem is, is now you've got the Kingslayer and a uh, Black Knight. So that's that's can be kind of tough, you know. Um, let's see, do I have anything crazy? If you, you a couple things is. Uh, let's see, I might do that, and yeah, that'd be good. And that's good. Um, if you can, if you have the Pyromancer, oh my goodness, man, I was playing as a Pyromancer, I was going to town with that Boulder Heave, you guys. Boulder Heave against pretty much any NPC, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, see? But if you have them summoned, then they'll fight each other. It'd be like Clegane Bowl. Um, so, here's what I want to do. Ooh, that was close, bro. That was close. Ha, 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 ha. There you go. Fume Ultra Great Sword. A lot of people like that one. Okay, there's another lava pit down here. Um, I'll show you in a second. Let me kill this Black Knight real quick first while I got the buff weapon. And by the way, the buff is pretty decent. Oh, I ain't got the buff no more. Ah, I'll show you from up here. So basically, ain't nothing I don't think down there besides what's in the pits. There's two. There's one right here, which I cannot remember what that is for the life of me. And there is Sacred Fist over here. I think this is like a... Maybe it's a Brave Warrior, Soul of Brave Warrior or something like that. I don't know. It's something that ain't too memorable. But the spell right there, if you're a Pyromancer, you might want to grab it. I'll be honest, man. I, I ain't trying to grab that right now. Because you go in there, that's it, man. Maybe uh, show you guys at the very end of this video how to do that. all those. Oh, look at that. Headshot, bro. Oh. You spin the win, spin the win. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, I really do like this weapon, you guys. I 
love this weapon. I don't think I've even talked to you about this character. This is the first time you've seen this character. Now, in previous videos, I've talked about the uh, the Lucerne, which I'm using right here. And holy smokes, <laughs> this weapon is so fun, man. And you probably saw when I was going through my rings, I got the Leo ring. Which works really well with this weapon. You, it gets you to do like a lot of damage, man. If you can get those counterattacks, oh my god, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. And um, I haven't even shown you the weapon. A weapon art can really deal some damage, man. You just have to be careful because, um, you know, if you're not breaking. Oh, uh, you know, let me get that ring on real quick. I'll take some damage off this fall. You will take, uh, oh, maybe it was the other fall. One of these, maybe it was that one. One of those is kind of far, and you'll take a little bit of damage. Now, I, like I said, I got the shield so I can regen. Plus, I've got blessed weapon for regen. Plus, I've got, might as well drink some. Plus, I've got other things, so I'm good. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to be honest, bro. Uh, hold on a second. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one. I think. I don't know. Um. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Alright. We're gonna be quick. Is they gonna mess you up, bro? Alright. And that's it. That's it. Now you don't have to worry about the, that thing no more. Now, there are a couple things you do have to worry about. Um, first off, you've got a couple bone wheels. Alright, now what's cool is that, <laughs> man, that almost was bad. What's cool is that the Lucerne, as well as many other weapons, they have a very good deal of, uh, of poise break. And, dude. And what that is for skeletal enemies? Oh, man, so good. So good. I thought there was three, maybe one foul or something, I don't know. But you definitely want to use a weapon that has really good poise break maces, halberds, um, and I'm going to bait this guy over here, actually. You, you really don't want to go over there because uh, there's two of those assassin enemies that they move around, they do bleed damage, they're really quick, and... You you don't want to you don't want to give them any advantages, man. They have quite enough as it is. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so uh, basically, yeah, here's one right there. Now you don't want to attack one while one's looking. You want to attack one while the other one ain't looking, really. Or at least to where you can kill one. You know. Speaking of which, I get this going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna have to buff it again, actually. Because I ain't trying to attack two at once. That, that, you don't want to do. Not with these dudes. But, at the very least, you want to get one surprise attack. There we go. I should be able to get it. See how you knock them over? Like, that's what you, you want. And because I got a blessed weapon, they definitely ain't coming back. I don't think they do, these ones. I don't think they revive themselves, but um, a blessed weapon would, you know, definitely remove that as an option for happening. This is mandatory, all right? This is, this is a troll thing right here. I don't know what the heck they were thinking, man. 
This this is a troll device right here, man. This is not. I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. Like that's messed up stuff. All right, so you got two options. Option number one, you could just jump down and kill the crabs. Option number two, which ah man, you know what? Nah, forget option number two. Option number one. <laughs> Option number two is like if you really want to go back and get those items, everything is killed, so you can just go and get them. The problem with that is is that I don't even have Flash Sweat memorized, so which pretty much anyone can use it. Um, I don't know. It's it's a good thing, but make sure you have the cat ring on. It's a good thing to do, but you can always kill those enemies again. It's not a big deal. They're basically a bunch of basilisks. That's the only thing you really gotta worry about. And, um... That's pretty, a couple rats. Um... And then there you go. Now you're all the way down again. Okay? Alright. And, uh... Do, 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 do. Mm. Yeah... I, I, I've come to like this one right here. I have come to like that. Whoa! I, uh, thought I... Thought I had my shield. Thought I had my shield up, you know? Oh boy. You don't want to fight two of those, that's for sure. I think my headset is going out, looks like, honestly. Which is not good. There we go. Oh, this guy waiting on me, bro. Almost done with this section. Yeah, so not too big, not too big a deal. These guys, um, just try to fight one at a time. Oh. There it is. Man.
One, two more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess we found out what happened to the other one, huh? <laughs> I thought there was three. I got lucky on that. I heard it coming. Oh. Man, oh man. Probably should drink potion. <laughs> Probably, maybe, I don't know. Alright. Uh, I believe there's something back here? No? No, nothing back here. It's just the chaos gem over there. Alright, bro. Oh, boy. Bro! Ooh. That one hurt, man. That one hurt, man. I'll tell you what, though. I have been really, really, really thinking about doing an SL1 run, actually. And what's interesting, um, it's because it's because one of you guys out there. But what's interesting is I have been doing research and stuff on like how to best make that happen. Like I've been doing my own independent research, like what type of weapons and all all sorts of stuff. What is available? You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm gonna come down here, go to a bonfire. Um, Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going I'm to go ahead and skip forward, but... Ah, no, there's a bomb part right here. Basically, I finished talking about this SL1 run stuff. I have been doing this research, and I think... I think I can do this. Not only that, I almost want to put together a guide. But I got to make it happen first. You know what I'm saying? So... Anyhow... All right, cool, man. Anyhow, here we are at the bonfire. Let me go to the next section. So what I wanted to do in this next section was just show you how to get the stuff in the lava. So I figured I'd just tape the stuff and then do a voiceover afterwards, after the fact, and kind of trim it down so it didn't take so long. Um, basically, what you want to first do is kill the monsters in the area. Now, you have to bait them typically with some sort of range attack preferably bow or crossbow or something like that and then kill them with like a dark or magic weapon um, so it doesn't take forever um, the other thing is is that I didn't actually memorize flash sweat which is a really really good spell for uh, fire negation so I just go for the first uh, drop right there which is toxic mist the one all the way in the back I've said before that's the white tailed talisman now once you have it all cleared out, then you want to load up with the best fire absorption gear. So hat, armor, everything. Get the most you have and try to stay under 30 uh, weight ratio, 30% weight ratio. So that you can move quicker, stamina regen, uh, roll better, all that stuff, okay? Then the last thing you want to do is try to use the rings to increase your negation for fire. So fire ring, dark speckled ring. Um, and any other type of rings that's going to help you. Corinthy rings, so you have more stamina regen. And the uh, blue tear stone ring. In case you get really low, your defenses will increase, um, which is super duper helpful. Now, when you do have flash sweat, that's going to increase your fire negation even more so, or fire absorption even more so. Um, but I don't have it, so I'll come back in a moment and then get that but for right now that's pretty much all I need and then I'll come back for the rest when you do go into the lava there's a couple things to note first move quick dodge roll um, so you can move quicker and make sure that you're using any kind of regen that you have whether that be replenishment uh, bountiful light gentle repose 
um, blessed weapons or shields, anything you have that can just give you that little extra bit. And then you run in as quick as can and you run out. All right. So for the second run, I got to go all the way into the back so I can get the um, talisman back there. So again, you got to kill all the little lava mobs in here, clear the whole area out. Then you want to load back up your armor and rings and um, your blessed items and uh uh, chime with the gentle repose all, all that stuff and then you also want to make sure that you put on the uh, flash sweat um, pyromancy once you do that you'll have really really high absorption rate and a really really high um, negation rate and then what you want to do is when you're ready you want to go ahead and run uh, make sure you buff yourself first but then you want to run out there as quick as you can make sure that you're keeping an eye on your health because um, it does take a minute before you can actually use an Estus once you press the button to use it so don't wait to the last second and make sure you have that uh, blue tear stone ring because the blue tear stone ring is really going to help you out and if you don't clear out those mobs they'll attack you and then you'll get stunned and then you'll die it's happened to me before so make sure you kill all of them like you can see right there there's one of them I didn't kill but that's okay and then you should be able to make it and you're good as I was going to the other lava pit I remembered that I actually didn't show you guys the Isolus staff and where it's at and how to get it and stuff so just knock out that invisibility wall grab it and then you know kill the basilisks so for the next lava area, what we want to get first is the sacred flame drop over here on the left of the bridge when you drop down. And we're going to basically be doing the same things, make sure you use flash sweat and all the other stuff. The only difference is that I am substituting out, uh, I think, the Corinthi ring so that I can use the silver cat ring because the drop will do damage and that will eliminate a lot of damage that will take. You'll still be stunned for a second, so you wanna watch your health meter, but um, put on all your buffs and then you can drop down. And when you drop down, if you do it right, if you jump right, you should be pretty much right there when you actually land and then you can grab it, all right? Um, run out as quick as you can, watch your health. Last one is totally optional because it's actually just an ember, so up to you. But if you're going to grab it, same thing as everything. Um, just make sure you just fall off. Don't roll off, and then you'll be right there. All right, guys? All right, we are back. And before we move on to the boss, there's this beast over here that we need to deal with. So, um, very, very, very easy to do. Um... All you have to do is first uh, get this, uh, it's like a worm or something, I don't know what it is, it's like a giant worm. But whatever it is, I'm not sure the name of it, you guys can let me know in the chat or in the uh, comments down below. But just run over here safely and come over here. Oh boy, you're not supposed to kick it. <laughs> What you do is you wait for these two. Get a couple hits in. When it does the lightning attack, you want to do that. And when it does the um, this one. All right. OK, well, you know. You gotta get closer um, but you only want to get a couple attacks in because otherwise it'll eat you you have to be on these rocks over here and, and if you're too close it'll hit you when it spins so um, yeah all right here we go Once it stops, then you can get an attack or two. Depending on how fast or slow your weapon is. And, uh, it's doing that a lot. This is fine. There we go. 
should be almost dead, actually. Pretty close. Yeah, because if you're over here and the thing is not doing that, you'll get eaten. It'll come right up underneath you and grab you. And that's it. It's over. Uh, most of the time, it'll do a few other attacks. Maybe we'll see if we can get it to do that. Oh, no, it's dead. There's a couple other attacks that it does, which, you know, is fine, but... Man, that thing is so loud. I don't know about you guys, but in, I'm using my headset, and the thing was so loud. I hope I wasn't too loud. <laughs> I apologize if I was. My commentary, um, it was just so loud. Anyhow, um, now what we just got was Lightning Stake, which is like uh, basically a uh, real close, almost melee miracle. All right, pretty cool. Does a lot of damage. Make sure you use a talisman with the uh, you know, talisman um, ability when you use that. And the other thing we got is a shield of want, which I'm gonna show you. Normally I run with it. I, I don't know if I really will this time, but basically it's gonna increase your um, the amount of souls you get by I think it's like 30% or 25% or something like that. It's considerable. So, um, you'll probably see me after I defeat a boss to switch to that and switch to the symbol of Alvarez so that I get more souls. But as it stands, I think I'm just going to leave this. Sh I like this shield. It gives me healing and stuff like that. So, before I go, I don't know if you noticed, I got a bone shard. So, I'm going to use that. And I'm going to come back. And we're going to defeat this boss. Alright, so we are back. And I pretty much have my clothes ready. Uh, my clothes, my armor ready. And uh, first thing I'm going to do, Tears of Denial. And actually, I was about to use uh, something else. And I just had, right now, just had a thought. And that thought is to... Um, ooh, I could use this. Oh, yeah, that's a really good thought right there, actually. Um, yeah... All right, what I was going to do, <laughs> I was going to just use uh, Human Pine Resin to buff my weapon, my Sharp uh, Lucerne, because normally I use Bless Weapon, but i um, kind of strapped on on these, um, what you call it, uh, spell slots. So what I'm going to do is... Um, What I'm going to do is a um, bunch of stuff, looks like. I'm going to be buffing I'm gonna be buffing the heck out of all my peoples here, all right? Now, you don't have to summon anyone if you don't want to. Me, personally, um, I like to summon, especially this one right here, because if you summon the Great Swamp, uh, whatever, Cuculus, I don't know, whatever, her, um, basically, you summon her, and you defeat the boss, and you go back to Undead Settlement where you got Cornix, and Corn all the Pyromancer gear is going to be there, as well as the Spotted Whip. So we'll do that, the very last thing here. And um, basically, what we want to do is, uh, look, you got to have highest fire, like kind of like, almost like what we did before. Fire and strike. You want to have real good fire and strike resistance. So the Undead Legion armor, really, really, it looks cool. I mean, look, I, I'm going to tell you honestly, I just recently beat this boss with my SL1 run, and I was using this armor. This armor is so cool, man. This is so cool. It just looks awesome. It, it looks awesome. Anyhow, so what I got to do is buff everyone, buff myself, uh, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so hopefully I get it all right. Uh, this this sacred oath I don't think lasts very long, so I will do this first, this second, and this third, and come in here and that last. Lock 
blocked it, bro. Now, he can get poisoned. I hear that the Storyteller Staff is really good to use against this dude. around me now he about to do some craziness so we better watch out extra souls you know what I'm saying look at this yeah all them extra souls not that I, not that I really need it you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to do what I can do you know what I mean it's a habit anyhow I tell you this is way easier <laughs> way easier than my SL1 run that I just did man holy smokes man um, <laughs> It took me a couple tries. It, it, I, I died a couple times against this dude on my SL1 run, but it wasn't that bad, honestly. Um, so, anyhow, uh, he has been defeated. Now, uh, let me show you about that armor I was just talking about. We're over here at the Unknown Settlement. Left side underneath. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. What, bro? I'm like level 100, bro. Alright. Then there it is. See? Spotted whip. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright. So, very cool. Let's actually let's check that out real quick. Um, I've had it a bunch of times, but I've never really used it. I think I want to make a whip build, man. That'd be so fun. Especially with the poison. Oh man, that'd be cool, bro. So, uh, yeah, look at that. Now, the cool thing about whips is uh, if you do like the rolls and stuff, um, you can, you, you can, it could be really cool, man. I've done some whip stuff in the past, but uh, I'm gonna do the, the poison someone with that, like, real easy. Anyhow, uh, that's that. Um, I think I might wrap it up. So, that being said, thanks for watching. Stay cool, and bye, everyone.